Tarzan of the Apes, from the novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs. With Mr. James H. Pierce as Tarzan, and Miss Joanne Burroughs as Jane Porter. This is an American Gold Seal production, released by the World Broadcasting System and Associated Stations. Tarzan, learning that Jane Porter has been abducted by the pirates and taken aboard ship, swims alone to rescue her. He succeeds in getting aboard with Jane's help, and after a fight with the pirates, takes Jane in his arms and leaps overboard. They are attacked by a shark, but Tarzan kills it. Professor Porter and his party, putting out on a leaking boat to aid Jane, are swamped and stranded on a reef. Reaching shore, Tarzan decides to take Jane to the jungle where he can protect her. Now, are you ready? Hold your breath. With the coming of the jungle dawn, the storm blows itself out. The tips of the giant trees have been whipped into feathery crests. The jungle trails are a mass of twisted, broken branches. An unusual silence hangs over the brooding forest, almost as though the beasts of the jungle were afraid to venture into the open. On the platform in the trees, Tarzan looks out over the scene of devastation. He is turning over in his mind Jane's insistent demand that she be returned to the hut. The ape man cannot understand it at all. Why should she want to go back where Clayton and the others have been unable to defend her? Why should she wish to return to the Tarmangani who do nothing but fight among themselves? He had thought that she liked him, Tarzan. Unconsciously, the ape man thinks aloud. Tarzan cannot understand Tarmangani. Tarmangani do not understand Tarzan. What's that, Tarzan? What are you saying? Tarzan turns to find Jane coming out from her shelter onto the platform. Oh, uh... Tarzan, just talking. But what were you talking about, Tarzan? Well, nothing. Jane all right now? But I ache from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. I don't want to go in for such a strenuous swim ever again. Storm time, not good for swimming. No, it isn't. Tarzan. Yes, Jane? I'm hungry and thirsty. Do you think we, or you, could get some fruit? Jane, want to go with Tarzan to get fruit? Yes, I'm certainly not going to be left behind. All right. Tarzan, lift Jane down. Oh, thanks. Sorry, but my arms ache. Ache? Ache? Yes, sore, tired, too much swimming. Well, I don't understand. No? Well, I suppose not. I don't think you've ever been tired in your life. But I can't swim in a sea like that without being a little the worse for wear. You know, everything is so quiet today. Why is that, Tarzan? Jungle beasts do not like wind. Storm. Little more. All right. Numa, save or get hungry. Or get storm and come back to eat. Yes, and when they do, I prefer to be back on the platform. So let's get the fruit as quickly as we can. Jane, go back to platform? Well, yes, for the time being. I hate to keep harking back to the same thing, but you must take me back to the hut. Jane, uh, not like Tarzan anymore? Oh, it isn't that, Tarzan. I can't expect you to understand, but Daddy, Lieutenant Darno, all of them will be worrying and wondering what has happened to me. Before, you stop at hut, but they cannot look after you. Armand Ganny, come and take you away. Well, that wasn't anybody's fault but my own. I opened the hut door, stepped outside, and they, the Tom and Ganny, snipes, carried me away. Why, Jane, go outside, Hut? Because, well, I thought you were there, Tarzan. I heard a voice. I said, Tarzan? The voice said, yes. And so I went outside, and they caught me. Uh, you come outside to talk to Tarzan? Oh. If Tarzan take Jane back to Hut, Jane, talk to Tarzan? Sometime? Why, of course, Tarzan. In fact, I'd much rather have you come to the hut and live there. No. Cecil does not like Tarzan. Oh, I think Cecil has gotten over that feeling now. I'm sure you and he... No. Cecil, same as before. But he was sick. He didn't know what he was doing. Maybe Cecil talked now, same as before. But Tarzan knows... What do you mean by that? Outside, Cecil all right. He likes Tarzan. But inside, Cecil not like Tarzan. Someday... Try to kill Tarzan. Tarzan not care. Tarzan not care, but if Cecil try to kill, then Tarzan kills Cecil. And Jane, dad. You mean Cecil is only pretending? I do not know that word. But Tom and Ganny ways, Tarzan not understand. Wrong for Tarzan to kill Cecil? Yes. But not wrong for Cecil to try to kill Tarzan. Well, of course it's wrong. It is wrong one way or the other. Cecil won't try that again. Jane, think that? Yes. But I know, I know that sometime 
Cecil, try again. And then, Tarzan cannot stop. Tarzan kill anything that try to kill him. Oh, it's too complicated to try to explain. And anyway, here's our breakfast. Why, but that fruit has been whipped by the wind. Come, Tarzan. Let's forget the difficulties of our civilized ways and sit down and eat. I'm hungry. All right. And Tarzan, still puzzled by the strange ways of these Tarmangani, seats himself beside Jane and proceeds to enjoy his breakfast. Meanwhile, stranded on the jagged reef where they'd been thrown by the fury of the storm, Darno, Clayton, and the rest of the professor's party make desperate efforts to reach the shore. Keep down, Philander. You're so tall, I'm afraid that some of the crew of the Arrow will see you. I'm doing my best, Clayton. I'm not as young as I used to be, and well, it's... It's not too easy for me. I know, old man. But if they take a pot shot at you, you may stop it with your head. We must make better speed. Here, monsieur le professeur, I shall help you. <laughs> Thank you, Domino. I'm afraid I'm too much of a hindrance. Nonsense, Archimedes. We'll help you over the rough spot. And once we get down behind this high ledge, we will at least be hidden from Snipes and his crew. If they haven't already seen us. Yes, Clayton, I am thinking that same thing, but I hope that they did not. Don't you think they'd have fired at us or something if they'd seen us? No, not necessarily, monsieur. They may be so certain. Oui, oui, François. We have to swim. See, the end of the reef. Oh, I'm afraid I can't do it. We'll get you ashore, Professor. It's not far. But we certainly would have driven far out of our course. Mais oui. You see, we were on the weather side of the headland when the break air struck us. Certainly none of this coastline seems familiar. It isn't. We have never seen this part of it before. Have you any idea, Darno, how far we are from the beach in front of the hut? I believe not very far, but the difficulty lies in getting there. If we try to swim now, they will see us from the ship, and if we wait till nightfall, we shall not be able to see a thing. We could use the lights from the arrow as a guide. Yes, if they light them. They have not so far, except for a brief flash of the searchlight last night. Then we seem to be left with no choice. We must swim. Look that way. I say, by Joe. What, Monsieur Clayton? I forgot all about King. Where is he? He was ahead. I saw him alongside Francois. Not for some time. I have not seen him. Uh, well, we needn't worry. He can't get ashore any more than we can. No. But for all we know, he may signal to Snipes and his crew. Oh, Monsieur Clayton has right. We must find him. Uh, I... Then he must be over this way. He couldn't possibly have gone back out on the reef without my seeing him. Sorry! Do not shout. If he has not yet warned them, no need to put the idea into his head. What do you do here, King? What do you think? You insolent beggar, you. Maybe, but I'm not crazy. Think I'm going to swim ashore from here through them blooming sharks? But look, when I look, lowering a boat from the arrow. So you did signal them, King. Well, if I did, you can't do nothing about it. Can't I, you? I'll oh, you. no, you can't. You can't get off this rock without Snipes comes and gets you. And if you kill me, <laughs> well, Snipes will kill every mother's son of you. This is one time that I'm not going to give up without a fight. It may not be dry land, but Snipes and his crew will be in a boat. And I think we have the advantage. Absolutely. And we have you, King, for a hostage. And if Snipes wants to stop anything, we shall simply shoot you. Look, seven men getting into a longboat. I suppose it's out of the question to try swimming now. But yes, we could not all get ashore. Besides, that longboat could overhaul the most powerful swimmer before he had a chance. They're headed this way, all right. If we must fight, do not forget that every shot must be a hit. We have too little ammunition to take chances. Yes, and pistols against rifles, too. And for that very reason, we must hold our fire. If they should roll down to our left there... They can pick us off easily. But on the other hand, if we move from where we are, they'll spot us at once and pick us off just as easily. I saw a flash of something just now. How we, the sunlight, striking the lines of a telescope. How close do you intend to let them come before we open up on them? We have no choice, monsieur. They have the longer range and they will do the opening up. Look, I saw somebody raise a rifle. Do not shoot yet, Miss Ami. Well, oh, I hate this idea of letting them pop at us, but their shots are almost spent before they reach us. You blokes better give up. We see you. Do not answer. Come on, Snipes. If you come any closer, Snipes, I shall blow his head off. Blow his blooming head off. And see how much I care. The lime is swab. They gave the range. That last one sprinted the rock above my head. Just one moment more. Uh, say when. All right. Let them have it. Back in the jungle.
jungle the sun streams in sparkling shafts of light between the giant trees. Seated on the mossy carpet, Jane and Tarzan finish their breakfast. No more, Tarzan. I've had enough fruit. Jane, like some meat? No, thanks. But you must get some for yourself. Tarzan, not very hungry. Well, then, I think... Uh... Jane, like to go to the hut? Yes. I do want to find out how Daddy is. <laughs> As the challenging cry of the bull ape echoes through the jungle, Tarzan leaps to his feet. What is it, Tarzan? Perchak, one of the tribe fights. Jango? Yeah, but Tarzan! Tarzan, go. Tarzan, chief of tribe. Oh, but you can't leave me here. No. If Jane not stop, Tarzan take Jane. But Tarzan, go. Quick, Jane, go. Yes. And without another word, Tarzan gathers Jane to him and heads for the trail that leads toward the ape tribe. <laughs> What has happened at the tribe of Kerchak? And can the marooned men under dog?